Pregnant female wolf asks old man for help. Then this happened. It's an amazing story. A fugitive who stole a tractor from a farmer ran over a pregnant she wolf in an attempt to leave it to fend for itself. Federal Patrolic decides not to return to city life after serving sentence. He decided to sell the flat and moved to the small village infested with tigers. The village is in the middle of a beautiful big forest. There he bought a small house surrounded by large fields. He spent spent a lot of money for it, but he thinks it's a place to spend the rest of his life, and he should spend all his money on it. People in the village don't know that Federer just got out of prison. Federer doesn't want to say that either, because he found out that people were prejudiced against him. Moreover, the villagers will refuse to live with him, because villagers don't like to meet strangers or people who have been in prison. Federer has everything he wants in his house. His house is far from the village near the forest. The place is quiet and beautiful away from the hustle and bustle of the village. The surrounding forest is amazing with lots of beautiful animals. He spends most of his time with them. There are no stores near Federer's home, and he buys enough to last for several months in one go. He decided to spend the winter alone at home. He made the right decision, because this winter is very cold and the snow is thick. People unable to out, but his living materials are very rich. He has firewood, food, and gasoline for the stove. So he doesn't care what's going on outside. When he can't leave the house, he is reading every day. Looking out the window into the woods. One day Federer went for a walk in the forest with a shotgun. The snow was thick, so he didn't take long to go home. Suddenly, he heard the continuous howling of wolves. So he walked quietly. He listened carefully trying to find out the source of howling wolves. He walked very carefully, because he knows the wolves are hungry. If they find him in the woods, they will attack him without hesitation. That voice came from outside the woods. He came to a field near a large abandoned log house. This wooden house belonged to a farmer, but he's dead and the house is empty. He saw a pack of wolves congregating near the farm owner's old tractor. Then he approached quietly and hid behind a wall. He watched from afar. He saw three wolves surrounding a wolf lying on the ground, protecting it. The wolf is pregnant and about to give birth. He was surprised when he saw the wolf. He wondered why the wolves were around it. He kept waiting for the wolf to leave, to get close to it, and see what's going on. As soon as the other wolves moved away, he approached. The wolf is dead. Its belly is swollen. He touched its neck and found that it was not breathing. Its limbs are also completely frozen. Fedra doesn't understand how the wolf died. He regrets its condition. Suddenly he found something moving in its stomach. Then he started touching it gently. The wolf conceives before she dies. Fedra thinks wolf cubs are still alive. He has to figure out a way to get it out so that he can successfully save the wolf cubs. Fedra took the knife out of his bag and began to cut open the wolf's belly with tears in his eyes. Then he saw the baby wolf. They are moving, barely breathing. Fedra must act now. It's so cold these cubs need warmth and milk to survive. At first, he wanted to sneak into the abandoned house and put the cubs there, then bury their mother and leave. But he found that the doors and windows of this house were tightly shut. He had no choice but to take the cubs home to care for them, leave their mother. Fedora holds the wolf cubs with tears in his eyes. He bid farewell to the mother wolf. Then he hurried home with his rifle and bag. When he got home, he put the cubs on the mattress by the fire. He began to check their bodies to make sure they were safe, then get them some hot milk and pour it into their mouths. This man doesn't know how to treat them. He is not used to living with animals because he spent most of his life in the city. However, he knows that milk is important for all kinds of small animals. So he gave them milk. The next day, he took them to the vet. Ask him how to treat them and save their lives. The next day, he went to the vet and told him what had happened the day before. The doctor then gave him some vitamins and advised him to buy some food from the store for the four wolf cubs. He also suggested keeping wolf cubs near the stove so they don't get cold. If their condition worsens, 
He must notify the veterinarian immediately. Fedra takes care of newborn wolf cub at home. He watches them all the time, brings them food and water. He follow the doctor's instructions. As time goes by, the pups start to grow. They can move around the house. They're so young, beautiful, and fun. Fedra stays with them all day and never gets bored. Fedra keeps wolf cubs as pets. Critters help improve his mood. He lives alone with no one to comfort him. One day, a man came to find Fedora with a tractor. He wants to take these cubs away, because he heard there were wolf cubs on his grandfather's farm. However, Fedora refused. Fedora assures him that he won't let the wolf go anywhere. When winter is over, he will send them back to the forest, because then the wolf can take care of itself. The man left angrily. He vowed revenge on Fedora. Fedora inquired about the man. He escaped from prison a few weeks ago. He is the grandson of the farmer. When the farmer died, he left the house. This man named Igor to get these pups and sell them to people in Moscow. Those people will buy small wild animals at great prices. Igor is a dangerous man who will stop at nothing to get what he wants. Fedora noticed that some hunters passed near his house every day and entered the forest. They noticed wolves running in his yard. So the news spread. The news reached the ears of the criminal Igor. He is a fugitive. When Igor learned that Fedora had found a wolf cub on his grandfather's farm, he insisted on getting them back at all costs. Fedora steps up protections for wolf cubs. He often stays next to the wolf all day. But one morning, Three men knocked on the door. Fedra was attacked after opening the door. It's all so sudden. Igor is here. He holds a stick in his hand. He dropped his stick on the ground and brought Fedra in. Then he held the four little wolf cubs in his arms and smiled triumphantly. When Fedra woke up from a coma, he didn't find the cubs in the house. He is very sad. Fedra immediately ran to the village and asked the identities of those people. But everyone is afraid to tell him because they are afraid of the dangerous Igor. A neighbor told Fedra that's Igor and his party. He gave him Igor's address. There was a blizzard that day. Fedora comes to Igor's big hut, where animals are hiding. These animals were illegally hunted and stolen by them. In there, he found Igor and his friends sitting in a small corner of the hut. They were drinking and laughing. Fedora quietly climbs into the hut. He found four wolf cubs and two tiger cubs in the cage. Then he broke the cage and freed the four wolves. He opened the door of another cage and took the two tigers into the forest and released them. He is proud of what he does. The next day, Fedra went to the police station. He denounced the escaped man and reported his crimes against the villagers. The police arrested him in the woods and took him to prison with his accomplices. Thanks for watching. Please like and share with others. We will get back to you as soon as possible.